Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Andrew Laidley. The Bank of Jamaica intervened in the foreign exchange market today for the second time since the start of the month. On this occasion, the BOJ sold 20 million US dollars to slow the decline in the value of the dollar. That brings the total injection since the start of the month to 40 million US dollars. Now, despite the BOJ's intervention in the Jamaican dollar, continues to lose value. At the end of trading, the US dollar was going for $146.69. The Canadian, $107.58. The pound closed at $181.72, while the euro is going for $168.60. Industry and Commerce Minister Audley Shaw has announced plans to create funding for micro-enterprises through the establishment of another stock exchange index designed specifically for that group. He says the success of the junior market index is an indication that a micro-exchange could also be worthwhile. It's a platform globally called the Nano Stock Exchange, right? Mm -hmm. So it's smaller than the junior stock exchange, where you can then target a, a more modest levels of funding, smaller businesses, and give them a platform as well. Mr. Shaw says it will require innovation while noting that there are some long-standing challenges which must be addressed. We have to be creative about getting financing at reasonable rates into the hands of our, of our investors. But I have to say to you, you know, we've suffered for far too long from the high cost of money. Speaking of trading, we head straight now to the stock exchange where the JSE index gained 1,812 points today, while the junior market index lost less than a point. Now, among the winners were Caribbean Cream, Dolphin Cove, Berger Paints, JMMB Group 7.25% preference shares, and Caribbean Assurance Brokers. Now, on the losing side were KLE Group, Consolidated Bakeries, Epley Caribbean Property Fund, SCC, SSL Venture Capital, and Honey Bun. And that's the Financial Week. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening. <laughs>